Hi guys, Ben Borscht here and welcome to Catch Me. We've previously made our pasta, and now I want to pair it with a beautiful sauce. Uh, I think a sauce that every Australian loves, it's the carbonara. And it's, you know, beautiful. It's got bacon, cheese, eggs. It's great. Bacon and egg pasta, what's better? We're going to crack on. We've got our beautiful speck already cut up. You can use uh, speck, pancetta. It doesn't matter. You could even use bacon if you like. It's got to have a little bit of fat content to it though. We're gonna pan nice and hot, a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna get all that beautiful speck into there now. We really want that to render down and get nice and crispy. For the recipe as well, we're gonna use eggs and Parmesan cheese. So what I've got in this jug here is an egg and cheese mixture with some black pepper. And if you'd like the recipe for that, download my ebook from my website. We're getting some nice caramelization and crust on this speck. Just want to leave that alone for a while. Let that really do its thing. Now I remember my mum and a lot of my family used to make carbonara and they'd use cream and eggs and tasty cheese and it just, it was always too much, and I think that's a big problem, you know, or not a problem, but it was always the way that everyone did it. And, you know, even when you buy the punnets of the pre-made sauce, it just looks like cream, and it never looks like a traditional carbonara. I think carbonara should be cooked, you know, using beautiful bacon or speck, and with eggs and cheese only. And I think that's gonna make that a luxurious and rich sauce using a little bit of leftover pasta water from the spaghetti. Would you like to Google that for me? So I can... <laughs> no, I think they're, they're just different cuts of meat. So uh, your back bacon, which we usually get, is you know your middle cut uh, bacon. So it has a loin on it, and then it has part of the belly as well. I think speck is just more of that belly cut meat um, without the loin attached. Oh, well, that's not true at all. So speck is the hind leg. Uh, so just from around the bone, loads of fat on it and it's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna go cook the spaghetti and we'll get ready for our carbonara sauce. So our water's boiling and we've got our beautiful spaghetti that we made before. So fresh pasta isn't gonna take half as long as it will to cook normal pasta. I think dried pasta takes about eight minutes. This should take two to three minutes max. We'll just get each in. Get the lid back on, just so we come back to temperature as quickly as possible. Put that plate out of the way. Now I've got a colander in the sink ready to go, so once this pasta is cooked, we'll get it drained off. Okay, so our pasta's lovely, nice and cooked, it's al dente, which means it's still got a little bit of bite to it. Put the colander in the sink. Drain that off. And we can reserve a little bit of that pasta water there. Okay, so we, our spaghetti's cooked. Our speck is rendered down and I've turned off the heat. We want this pan to be still warm, but uh, not hot at all. What we're gonna do now is get our pasta into our speck pan and get it nice and coated with all that lovely bacon fat. a little bit of water in there as well and I think that'll just help emulsify and bring all those beautiful flavors together. Oh, lost one there. A 
We really want the heat to come off this pan before we put our eggs in. We don't want to scramble our eggs. You know, if you felt like it, you could put parsley on top. You could put um, some sage or oregano. I think uh, carbonara is, you know, one of those traditional sort of uh, dishes that you just want that beautiful bacon and egg uh, flavor in it. What I like to do is, got a bit of a, a bread already made, which is my mum's secret herb bread. So we sort of get our herbs in with that. All right, our spaghetti carbonara is done and the crew's getting pretty hungry. So I think we will feed them up. That beautiful spaghetti. And you can see how well that sauce is just coating that pasta. Alright guys, who's hungry? <laughs> I made this beautiful crusty bread before. This is my mum's secret recipe. Nice crusty herb bread. A couple of pieces each. And there it is guys, my spaghetti carbonara with herb bread. Thanks for joining me. You can find all my recipes at benborscht.com.au.